G'day there everyone, I'm Daniel Anderson here. Now we've got some new co-pilot integration into SharePoint that we are gonna take a look at today. It is going to give you the ability to create high fidelity sections in your SharePoint pages just by using some natural language. Now, we are in private preview at the moment. I am lucky enough to have uh, access to that right now in my tenant. So this will probably be your first look. There's still a few little things that are being ironed out given that it is in, in private preview. So let's get stuck into it and put it through its paces and see what we can do. All right, so here we are on our employee benefits homepage, uh, and let's pop our page into edit mode. Now, what you're going to notice is that in addition to our add a new section uh, button here, we've got a little copilot button. Now, we can see that we can add a section with copilot. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down the bottom and let's add a new section, all right? So I'm gonna click the copilot button. Now you can see we get three suggestions for us. Now these suggestions are coming from the context of this page. So Copilot has read and ingested the contents of the page and giving, given me some suggestions. I've got a frequently asked question so I can create a section based on the contents and then generate some FAQs. I've got some important links to benefit resources. All right, so you can see the prompt there. Create a section about important links to benefit resources. This section will provide quick access to key docs, forms, and external sites related to employee benefits, okay? And then what we've got is a third option here. What's next for employee benefits? Now, if I click on one of these, you can see that the prompt gets added into the prompt or the context window here on the page, all right? You'll notice we're still in preview. You'll also see that we can add content and we'll come back to that in just a second. So let's have a look and see what happens when we create or uh, generate an FAQ section, all right? So let's hit create. We can see that it's generating the section and it is ingesting again, looking at the contents of this page and we're going to be, or Copilot will recommend some FAQs from the contents of the page, all right? So let's just wait for that to, uh, to, to come back and there we are. So we can see that we've got, uh, you'll notice that we've got one of one and we've got the FAQs, all right? Now this looks like it's been done in collapsible sections, all right? So let's have a look. Let's add this to the page. So we'll click add to page and all of a sudden we've got a number of sections if we've chosen the FAQ um, uh, prompt. So let's republish this and let's have a look. So you can see that it, that has actually built out a number of sections in an FAQ format, all right? Let's pop this page back into edit mode here and we shall go down to the bottom again and I'm going to add a section with Copilot again. Now let's choose something else. Let's choose this prompt here. What's next for employee benefits? And it's going to be, um, actually let's use the helpful resources, all right? So let's click create, all right? And let's see what happens when we choose that prompt, just to give us a little bit of a different output, all right? rather than the, the collapsible sections. And we can see here that I've actually been given three options. So Copilot's created three different variations of this section for me. This one here, I've got some big title, I've got a background, and if I flick over, I've, I've got a different type of layout here. Again, we've got a background image, and I've got three of three. This one actually looks pretty good. Um, and I can choose which one I wanna go ahead with. Now you'll also notice up here that we've got this little regenerate section suggestion. So if you're not happy with e e um, any of these that have come back, we can click regenerate suggestion and it's going to give us some more options, all right? So we've had three there. Now let's see what comes back now that we've, we've asked for some more, all right? So it's still regenerating and we can see we've got four of four. Uh, and I've got, if I scroll back, I've still got the three that are, were originally generated, and now I've got a fourth, all right? So this, this has given me a three column layout, all right? So this one actually looks pretty good. Now, what we might wanna do is, um, can you, let's say, can you please add a background image? And let's go. All right, so let's see if we're 
smart enough and good enough to be able to add a background image to this section. And what do you know? We certainly do, all right? Now that looks pretty good, all right? We can then go add to page, all right? You'll notice I've got a three column layout. I've got my web parts. I can add my sections um, and that looks pretty good. So let's hit republish. So now we've got our section, all right? But big background image, our three column layout, and we're, we're good to go. So here's our FAQs, here's our um, resources, all right? Now, let's go back into edit mode. What we might have a look at here is, let's add our own content. So rather than creating sections based on the contents of this page, let's add some content, all right? You'll notice that we've got some more um, suggestions for me here. All right, but again, that's based on the contents of the page. I'm going to add some content and I'm going to go to files and let's go for brand voice guide. All right, so can you please uh, create a section that outlines what our company brand voice is all about? from this document, all right? And let's hit create. So now using that doc as content, as a source, let's see what we come back with, all right? Now what might be interesting here also is if we actually suggest maybe adding some web parts, all right? So we can see that we've got that nice solid background, three columns, I've got two of two and now I've got a single column. So I'm gonna go back to the first option and let's say, can you add a, an image web part at the top of each column, please? Important to say please. All right, so refining the section, all right, and let's see if we can actually add some web parts by using our language here too. And what do you know, we've got three images that have just been added to those sections just by asking, all right? Now, that looks nice, all right? You, you'll notice that I have lost that background though, all right? So, I've got one, I've got two, and I've got three. So, every time that we do that, we get an additional, um, uh, an additional section the, uh, option for us, all right? Maybe we say, um, can you, can you add a solid, uh, background color to the section, please, to the section and let's go. All right. Again, refining the section, but again, we're going backwards and forwards with Copilot here. Um, and that's interesting because now we've lost all of that, as I said, private preview, a little bit rough around the edges potentially here, um, and we're I'm doing this I'm doing this live right. So we can see I've got my three options, four options now, but I like this one, so I'm going to add that to my page. All right, let's republish, and now we've got three sections that have been created by Copilot. All right, so we can see I've got my FAQs. I've got um, my three column layout for resources, and there I've got my brand voice as well, all right? So we, same as normal other sections, we can go back in and we can add, um, add anything we want to post creation here, um, or we could add more sections, all right? So there we go, first look. Being able to create high fidelity sections with Copilot in the context of the page, but also having the ability to upload and add content and then create sections based on that content as well. So I hope that brings you some value. Stay with, um, make sure you're subscribed if you go to danielanderson.co forward slash join um, and jump on to my emails you'll get all of this information and videos and training uh, directly to your inbox every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.